Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's Ninja here, and today what we have for you all is an insane gameplay. Today's gameplay is an 89 gun streak on the map Nuketown, playing with the Weevil, which in my opinion is probably one of the best SMGs in Black Ops 3. And also, we are in a five-man party, but either way, you guys, an 89 gun streak is an insane gameplay. Either way, even if you're in a six-man party, a one-man party, man, they're still insane gameplays. Obviously, I feel like they do vary depending upon how many players are in your party. But either way, a five-man party, 89 gun streak is still an insane gameplay. So if you guys did enjoy this gameplay, or will enjoy this gameplay at the end of the gameplay make sure that you guys do drop a like on the video it definitely mean a lot for me and also tasty and also if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys do subscribe to tasty you guys will not be disappointed to what he's going to be posting over on his channel now also if you guys would like to check my channel out that'd be much appreciated i'm close to 6.2k which obviously is pretty close to tasty's subscriber count and also i'm just really trying to grow a little bit more over my youtube channel over there i'm trying to post like vlogs a little bit more and just pretty much same old gameplays commentary stories kind of like that so if you guys are interested check me out down in the description below so what i want to talk to you guys about today is going to be a story now i don't really tell these types of stories over on my channel just because i don't really want my friends finding out i don't really want my parents looking at my channel and seeing like stupid crazy stories or just parties that i've been at and stuff like that so i was like you know what i'll make a little commentary that's pretty interesting in my personal opinion over on tasty's channel and it probably won't be over on my channel just because I really like to keep these types of stories on the DL over on my channel. But you guys, today's story is going to be about how the time that I almost died. Now this story is not like other stories about people like, you know, crazy how did I almost died. This one was actually pretty sketchy, you guys. So this happened about three weeks ago and it was like, honestly, the circumstances was pretty weird. And this was right after prom. Now I know a lot of you guys probably in high school or something like that or if you guys do know what prom is. It's just a dance at your high school and stuff like that. Now, in the month that we're in right about now, it's like May and stuff like that. We usually, I think if there's like one prom usually in May. It depends upon your school. It really doesn't matter, whatever. But so I was at prom. After prom, we went over to this person's party that I've just known for so long. Like her name's Michaela. I've known her for probably like literally five, six years. She's super cool. And we went over to her house and that was just like a prom after party. Now, obviously at a party, you guys were having fun. We're turning up as usual. What else do I usually do? <laughs> We're at a party, we're having fun, you guys, and her dad is a freaking crackhead, you guys, like straight up, he is so sketchy, so her dad and this other guy, they look like straight bums, like we go down in this basement, like, cause we're all chilling outside, chilling by fire and stuff like that, me and my buddy, all right, yo, let's go down in the basement, we'll, you know, go chill down there, whatever, we go down to the basement, and we see these two guys, they're her dad and this other guy, they look like straight bums, you guys, like straight bums, now, what the guys were telling us, they're like, yo, go grab everyone, we're gonna drop rocks on our feet, like, these guys were so fucked up, like, literally, when I say fucked up, they were so fucked up, like, they were on crack, I think, they were smoking weed, they were, like, which, honestly, was smoking weed, whatever, but they were smoking a lot of fucking weed, and also, they were, like, hammered, and they were also smoking crack, so they were literally messed up, they were in an old, like, their own dimension, literally, like, they were, like, seeing stars, they must have, but what they did, they, they got rocks, okay, and they were literally dropping the rocks on their feet playing a game, which, like, didn't even relate to drinking, didn't relate to anything, which in that first thing, I'm like, dude, these guys are crazy, they were literally getting big boulders and dropping them from at least four feet high onto their feet with no shoes on, just barefoot. Something needed to myself, these guys are crazy, bro. So, literally, probably, I don't know, probably an hour or two go by, and then I'm sitting outside, whatever. A lot of people have left this party. I'm chilling. It's probably literally like two in the morning, okay? We're sitting by a fire. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty turned up already, all right, you guys? Hey, I'm sitting by this fire, and the guy comes over to the fire, and dude, this guy was tweaking on literally crack. Like, I thought this guy was about to stab me, do something. He was touching me too much, and the guy was trying to jump over this huge fire that we had going he was trying to jump over it he was outside it was like 40 degrees out he was with bare feet on the guy looked crazy his eyes were like bloodshot he just looked like if you guys can think of what a crackhead looks like or have seen one in a movie this guy literally fits that picture so this guy was sketching me out so hard i died like i literally thought i was gonna die like straight up i'm not just making this commentary to just say at the time that i thought i was gonna die i literally thought my life was at risk so the second this was super funny you guys so his dad comes out and he's like Leonard get the hell in the house because he's 45 and he still lives with his dad which is definitely pretty 
weird to, just because you guys drug drug addicts stuff like that they're definitely they spend all their money on dope and stuff like that but overall you guys that is going to be wrapping up today's video it was definitely a pretty crazy story this was the time i thought a guy on crack was going to kill me <laughs> and this was only like three weeks ago you guys so this was pretty crazy um i have a lot of other crazy stories like this you probably won't see them over on my channel kind of stories like this but you guys that is going to be it for the video hope you guys did all enjoy if you guys did drop a like in the video that'd be definitely much appreciated so guys that's going to be it hope you guys did all enjoy and peace out